Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video! So today I am playing a game that I've never played before, The Sims Medieval. I kind of mentioned a while ago that I was taking a little bit of a Sims break during The Sims 3's run, so I never really got the chance to play this game, but I've heard lots and lots of positive things, and lots of people have asked me to play it, so I thought, well, we're getting close to the end of Retro Sundays, why not give it a try? I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to make this into a whole series or whether I'm just going to do like a one-off video like today. I guess it depends on how fun I think it is. But I am appreciating the little movie montage at the beginning, something that is very much missed since The Sims 3. I hope I get to be a princess. Loving the background music. I feel like this is the background music to like a historical documentary by one of the greats like David Attenborough or Philomena Kunk. So I have to choose an ambition. New beginnings or peacemaker? Um, well, out of the two, I mean, ambition, surely, fuck the peace. We'll go for a traditional castle. And we'll run the kingdom of Lasagna. Oh, okay, I think I've got extra quests as part of the pirates and nobles add-on. I think it's an add-on? Build and buy, treasure hunting. Okay, cool. So I need a new monarch. We can go Cassius or we can go Helena. Well, I think it's gotta be, it's gotta be Helena, doesn't it? Can I change her name? Winona Fishburger, there we go. I have a thousand simoleons in my treasury. I can furnish my, my home. Okay, let's see what we got. Dresses for me? A new plant? Yeah, okay, I think that will do for now. Let's just get into the gameplay and then we'll. Oh, I can build on all these other parts of the map. Oh, that's cool. My throne room is finally complete. Oh, tell me about it, Winona. A quick jaunt upstairs to the mirror should suffice, okay? You wanna pop upstairs and check yourself out? That's fine by me. Check self out. Gussy up. Go for it, my girl. You like what you see? We love a self-confident queen. So these are all my stats. I'm a good, eloquent fool. Agnostic. I do know quite a lot of people, though, which is great. And I got a couple of things in my inventory. A sword. Currently I just have two needs, hunger and energy. This is my focus meter, okay. So we need to talk to Buildmaster Caleb of the Builders Guild to talk about the future of Lasagna. Well, can I just get him on the phone or... Discuss the castle, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fast travel from upstairs to downstairs going on here. Oh, here's Caleb, hey, my man. I can send him to the stocks. The throne room's all done. Oh, I tried comforting him and he's snubbing me. Maybe I will send you to the stocks. I have to go to the forest, apparently, to get some wood. Because I'm not going to get any wood from Caleb, clearly. He's offended by my advances. I'm getting really sick of this tutorial mode. Can I not... Can I not disable this? This is really pissing me off. I don't like being told what to do. I want to figure it out for myself. Right, disable lessons. I'll come back for lessons when I need them, okay? Just leave me be. Ah, oh, the forest. Much adventure awaits me in the woods. The wildflowers here are especially beautiful. I should collect some. Okay, well, let's discover these bushes. We discovered wildflowers. Can I pick some? Oh, yeah, I can. I can collect as many as I like. Maybe I'll give some to Caleb, the ungrateful swine. Or I'll put him in the stocks. I'm, I'm t torn between the two. Show him affection. Have him killed in a very publicly humiliating way. I'm torn. Oh, I think this person is trying to mug me. A bandit dares to threaten the queen. Can I, um, can I slap you? Challenge to duel, threaten for money, send, uh, threaten. I'm gonna take your money, you fairy bitch. Perhaps I shouldn't have, uh, taken on such a challenge when I have, like, zero skills. Oh no, are we going into a spa? Oh, this isn't good. This is not the kind of spa I like. I don't know if you're gonna win this, Fishburger. I can't even see where my skills are, but as far as I know, there's fuck all of them. Hit, hilt smash. Well, my health and my stamina is a lot higher than Forest Bandit Alters. So I'm starting to like my chances. Just go for it. Go for it, Winona. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Forest Bandit on the floor. Winona stole 50 simoleons from Forest Bandit. Uh, wait, wait, what was I supposed to do? Challenge them to a duel. Well, I think they might be dead now. Uh, challenge to duel? You got any energy left in you? I mean, the eyes are still open. Maybe she's playing dead so that I walk away. Come on, get up. Quick look at my quests, maybe? Oh, she's getting up. Okay, that's good. 
Think you can beat me? We'll see about- Well, I just beat you, bitch. I just had your ass for grass, so I don't know- I don't know what you think is gonna happen. But clearly, we're a badass. So... And I stole your money. Oh, I noticed with every jab, our little bar went up for our monarch level. Bandits could really become a problem in Lasagna, but a knight or spy could curb that. Now I can collect wood in peace. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what we came here for, the wood. Yeah. Well, where, where are we going to find the wood? Because no option on these trees unless there's just a pile of wood. Unless you've already had one of your slaves come and chop it up for you. Collect wood, there we go. Oh, and lasagna is free of crime for another day. Oh, is she just on a rabbit hole? Yeah, I guess so. There was always adventure waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. Alright, great. This wood would be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder will also need stone I can mine in some cave by the graveyard. Uh, cave, cave. We've got the barracks. We've got the watcher pavilion. Village outskirts. Tavern. Oh, I want to go to the tavern. Town square. Market. Smithy. Oh, wow. There's loads of places around here. Oh, graveyard and cave. Okay, perfect. Let us go there then. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's still dead bodies on the ground. Can I have a word, please? It's about my work here. Well, all right. We'll, we'll discuss grave digging. So are you robbing these people or are you burying these people? Oh, he's talking about giving these pre people a proper burial. Well, this is medieval times. I don't think they need anything spectacular. I mean, just dig a hole and roll them in. Let's go collect stone from the cave. Oh, I believe this will be another rabbit hole, yeah? Okay. I'm really proud. If this is my entire kingdom graveyard, we've only lost five people. Seven if you count these two. I think that's really good going for a whole kingdom. Especially in times like these. With so much bloodshed. So much rage. No, I think we've done well. We could kill more people. Winona collected stones while venturing deep into the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, she climbed down a sheer drop into a dark abyss. At the bottom, Winona reached an underground lake. She stumbled over a small chest sitting in the puddle. What should she do? Mmm, open it. Just open it. What's it going to do? Kill me? Winona opened the lid and found a small bounty of wet coins. Hey, there we go. See? See? All right, so I've got to go shopping. That's fine. Oh, stop giving me lessons. I tried disabling these. Okay, we'll go we'll go shopping. Get some new earrings or something. Right, let's go to the village shop. Is it just this rock? Or do I actually get to go into the shop? Because I don't see a shop, I just see a rock. Oh, I see, I see. I can't go there. Oh, it was another rabbit hole. Okay. Um, what do I actually need to get? Because I've got loads of stuff here. Well, I'm going to get uh, a loot for my creativity skill. A uh, dress, obviously. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to get this map yet. Okay, that will do. Let's get that stuff. A svelte lady approached Winona, then bowed. I've heard word of your arrival, and in your honour have prepared two gifts to help as you build your kingdom. However, I shall only give you one of them. The gift you receive depends on your answer to the question. What virtue would you rather bring to lasagna? Safety or power? Ah, <sighs> well... If I really, if I'm honest and I level with this chick, it would be power. But, if I say safety, she might give me something better because she'll think I'm a nice person. So let's go with safety. Received uh, Monarch's Armour of Fortitude. So can I equip my dress then? Oh, it was just water. Oh, the icon was so small. I, th I thought it was a dress. All right, fine. Well, I'll equip my new armour then. Oh, someone's calling for help. I should see what's wrong. Check safety of eye grain. Is that a place or is that a person? Oh, that's her. Check safety. Hey, you all right? You okay? There's a woman in town square. She pushed me into the mud and called me names. This can't happen in lasagna. Oh, we're going to start some shit. I think we're going to start some shit. Town square, here I come. I will not tolerate rage in lasagna. There is only one way to fight rage. With the threat of violence. Oh, town bully, Dina. Well, she did bow to me, but I'm gonna have to send her to the stocks. I don't have a choice. You can't go around assaulting people, calling people names. Especially not in medieval times. People were very sensitive back then. Go to the judgment zone. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, well, let's go. Dina, you come with. Come with, bitch. I mean, there is a man threatening her as well, being a bully to her, so I... 
But I'll I'll overlook it this time. I get selective action, is it? Now to shame the bully. That will make her think twice before messing with my town's people. <laughs> shame. Shame. What is that sound? Is there like a, a creature living in there? Jump into the pit. Oh, there's a beast in there. Oh dear. Um, throw tomato, throw egg. Is that how I shame her? Throw an egg. Because being in the stocks isn't enough. That's what you get for calling my friend a harlot. Hit her again, Lady Winona. Hit her again. Well, the other woman's waiting for me in the throne room. To be honest, that kind of works for me because I'm getting a bit peckish and I want to have some food, have some sleep. So, yeah, I'll go back to my castle, no problem. I thought there was a beast in that well. I think there is, but I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't my stomach growling. I, travelling merchant, bring many luscious and succulent goods for your perusal. All right, all right, just give me a break from these duties long enough just to have a sandwich. Is there not, like, a servant or something I can ask for some food? Call for food, yes. First steps. I will entice the minstrel Walter, the rugged, handsome b bed, or I will woo Trader Merrywell, the beautiful and ed Woo, obviously woo. I've never been able to resist a woman who knows her way around gold, and I presume she won't be able to resist this wildflower I picked earlier. <laughs> oh, Winona, you know what you are doing. Give the flower to Trader Merrywell, okay. So I just need to work on getting a higher relationship with her, which I will once I have my food. Where the fuck is that servant? Oh, she's making my food. Right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to sit down, make it very clear that I am waiting for my food. Where are you going? Where are you going with that food? Oh, god damn. Oh, she put it by my bedside. Okay, that's fine. I, I guess that's okay. Right, eat up. Okay, perfect. Hunger happy. Right, now we have to try and try and make friends with this chick. We'll make good enough friends so that we can give her some flowers. Okay, what are we? We're just acquaintances. I think we could become friends. I'm going to ask her about her religion. If she too is not agnostic, then I'll send her to the stocks. I think we're getting a bit tired. Yeah, we're sleepy. Oh, give flower. Okay, perfect. Winona learned... Oh, she's also agnostic. Okay, good. Great. You are most kind and most enticing, queen. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Give resources to build Master Caleb. All right, fine. Have some resources, Caleb. Some time to ourselves. We've got a couple of jobs to do. But I'm also really tired, so I kind of want to go to bed. Okay, write Treaty of Ongoing Peace. And then read the War Crimes Docket. Oh, we're going to bring so much peace. How do I do the other one, though? Read the War Crimes Docket. We have to write a letter of hire, which I can do. That's fine. Maybe I need to get it from my advisor? Oh, it's in my inventory. I see, I see. Okay, fine, fine. The carrier pigeon roosts in messenger posts around the kingdom. There's one outside the throne room at the bottom of the steps. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I'm going to read this book and then I'll send off my little... my employment letter. I'm guessing this is a messenger post. Yes. Send letter of hire. Donate to the poor. Maybe when we have a little bit more money ourselves. Oh, look at my focus bar. I'm so focused. Oh, okay, fine. I know you're tired. You can go to bed then. But not for too long, just for a little bit. Sign royal arrest warrant. And ask royal advisor Joanne for advice. Okay, fine. Is that Joanne? Yes, okay. Ask for advice. And then sign royal royal warrant. What do you think I should do, Joanne? My lady, to be honest, this throne room is a bit lacking. You need to furnish it better if you're going to impress any foreign leaders or professionals. What about if I put a plant in here? Does that make things better? It seems it does. Much better. I would even suggest an official proclamation that the throne room is open to diplomats from foreign lands. All right, well, I've signed the uh, send the guildsmen to the stocks. Well, I think first I should uh, declare the throne room open. Oh, I could do that just by clicking on myself. All right, there we go. Okay, throne room is open. Cody. She's announcing it to the stone wall. It's not a bad idea to considering to consider opening more relations with our neighboring nations. I should take a peek at the tactical map before I continue to expand my own kingdom. Uh, view political situation. Thank you, Joanne. You've been of great service to me. Right, so we've got lasagna, ruled by me, Lady Winona. Then what do we have here? Craft hole. Smithmaster Leo is the leader, okay. And then what about Tredany? Prince Daniel, okay. Well, good to know. I wonder if Buildmaster Caleb has finished taking inventory of the resources. I don't know, I guess I will ask him. 
Is he flirting with my servant? He looks like he could do with a bath. Caleb, please, keep up appearances. This is the throne room, for Christ's sake. Could I order him to wash? What will you build, highness? I'm gonna build a dildo room, that's what I'm gonna fucking build. Quest completed. You completed the quest at gold level. Excellent work. Oh, that's good. So I've got myself some rewards. I'm now monarch level two. Okay, well how the fuck do I get out of this kingdom mode? Do I just have to select a quest? Yeah, okay, I guess that's the only way I can get out of kingdom mode. Well, I think on that note, I'm gonna end this episode here. I might play it again. This was quite fun. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.